what is the status of organic in Nigeria? Like, is there um, a policy, for example, that guides organic or is still an informal um, sector where, you know, people are interested in organic sort of come together? Is there like an, an underlying legislation that uh, guides organic? Um, at the moment, uh, no. Mm. Um, what the national body is trying to do is actually push some um, bills, um, you know, recommendations to the legislature on the importance of organic farming and also by extension, yeah. regulations that can come in into, you know, streamlining who organic farmers are, what organic inputs are and things like that. Yeah. Um, that um, is a continuous conversation yeah. uh, with the with the national government. Uh, we have the national body taking on this um, strike. Uh, in, in terms of policy, um, I can see in some of the po po policy formulations by the government the encouragement mm. of the use of uh, organic inputs. Uh, but then, um, uh, like for instance, there's a policy that insists that, okay, for any of the major government um, projects, uh, there should be an infusion of um, organic fertilizers. Yeah. Uh, but uh, not made compulsory, but um, recommended. Yeah. Well, at least that's, that's a good starting point, true, <laughs> I true. would say. <laughs> so, uh, again, the, there's a current bill, uh, I think, uh, currently that has been passed to the House for, for consideration. Yeah. At this point in time, I don't know how far that has gone, but I'm aware that uh, such is being put uh, in place. Mm. And one thing I'd like to say, uh, you know, to, to, to be very, very sincere, um, policies most of the times are driven by movements, mm. um, are driven by the call by the people that they, they want the solution. For. Yeah. And um, we, we are still struggling... Um, in terms of advocacy, mm. you know, getting the message across to even the consumers yeah. uh, that, okay, well, this is something that you need to fight for. This is something that um, you need to re request for. Yeah. So once that movement now grows, the government will not have any choice but to look in that direction mm. if they are not prioritizing that now. So what we have decided to do is, you know, take a step back and begin to sensitize the consumers, the, the polity that, okay, well, yeah. healthy living is, is essential. Yeah. So from, from that angle, um, you need to be requesting for, or at, or at the very least, have a choice mm. of organic food. If you want to take organic food, it should be readily available for you. Yeah. Uh, if you now choose not to, that's another conversation or, uh, on uh that's another conversation, but that choice has to be made available and sac sacrosanct mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Because if you have decided to make that choice to go into organic, you should be able to have a quality system that will also guarantee your access to that kind of food as well. It's 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 a complex situation, but uh, one that we are trying our best to try to uh, address at all levels, state mm -hmm. level. Um, national and also um, even at the, at the grassroots itself. Mm.